completion of the the export of the uh, four and a half hours I did yesterday to YouTube, but uh, YouTube um, says it's going to take about three hours to get that um, uploaded. So what I planned on doing, which I try not to plan a whole lot, of course, you got to make some, some kind of arrangements, right? Um, what I was going to do is brush over the um, brush over the um, testing, testing, testing. Let me see if this is working. Hold on, beloved. Testing. Hello? Just hold on a second. Let me see what we got here. There we go. Right on. Now I can hear myself pretty good. There it is. Thanks for your patience. Anyway, so what I decided to do is um, just brush over... Um, pardon me just one second. I'm going to glance at this phone. Um, oh, there we go. Right on. So, I'm going to brush over the segments from when I left Maine, Vermont, Florida, back to Maine. I'm just going to do a quick summary uh, or that's the plan. Anyway, a quick, quick summary for those that don't want to watch the whole th four and a half hours on YouTube to be caught up to speed um, on what's happening. And I might add some stuff might be uh, not included, of course, because I want to just get kind of get through it and get get moving. But um, because I just do this right off the top of my head out of memory. um there's no real telling kind of where, where, you know, I might take us along this, this story, this journey here. So, uh, but I was led to say, uh, well, first of all, I want to say thank you. I was able to uh, get my, my uh, internet live chat up and going when Tor says came on this, uh, this morning, which was, which was great. I just had to shut my phone off, refreshing and all that. Usually in between just a short chat burst would do it. Uh, but the whole restarting the, the phone seemed to seem to work. So that's great. And of course that refreshing only worked on the YouTube. I don't I don't know how to do it on on Twitch. So, uh, but I wanted to add, and so I, and I wanted to thank uh, Tori and then also Millie. Um, uh, but I wanted to, I was led to say that, um, you know, like, um, there's things I noticed myself when I, when I am led to, to play music that I've grown fond of even if the people aren't necessarily their hearts are in the right spot when it comes to our creator and, and all he should be appreciated for but you can really see once you start to take on your true character you start to see at least I do and I, and I know a lot of you are also seeing it things that were always there but also the direct result of sin like as in let's just say little orphan annie but in the wilson sense nancy and if you look at the two you have a you could have one that appears to be returning to its vomit and then another that's fluttering just like a butterfly just 
but the tears are so real because being a little a little child and being told by someone that you love and trust that hey it's it's all right you see those tears are real but you'll see the direct result of of the uh people's free will and the and the um and the uh, curse of the third and fourth generation not the direct personal uh, consequence of sin although you're seeing that too but also a generational curse and i'm not certain because i and i and i pray that you know people um people's hearts become supple and and they repent but you'll see instead of singing songs you know a uh, a uh, 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 beautiful uh, 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 a floral of of harmonious prayers a spiral high harmonious prayers a staircase I, instead you know for many different reasons it, you know um a stairway uh, which is a, a kind of like something you'd see in a fun house where you start to go up and then it just it just and you slide right back down it's always at a and right back down you're you're not uh and it's the root of all evil the love of it it's the root it's that root that has to be a matter of fact i was just reading that today about the the root and and if the the root is bad, then the whole, you know, it's like if I was to make, make uh, some, a batch of cookies and, 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 uh, and, uh, you know, I threw a little piece of cat litter, uh, just a tiny little piece in that big old bowl. Let's say, a, let's say a 20 dozen batch, you know, a nice size bowl. And I just throw a little piece in there. You know that, and I'm serving you cookies. And you say, no, I know what you put in there. And I said, well, okay, well then here, how about this? Fair enough, I'll go ahead and I'll throw that dough out and I'll just start over. And I didn't clean the bowl. And the person says, no, that still isn't good enough, you you haven't cleaned the bowl and I know what you put in there. So cleaning the outside of the bowl, making it look pretty for people that know what's in that, in that whole lump, that whole batch. Once you know, ugh, yeah, it's not, and it's not, it's not almond, it's not Roca pieces. You got to start all completely over. Wash the inside of that. And, but yeah, when, when I see that, and, and, and it's almost like our heavenly creator is saying, do you see, I've used this. I'm actually scolding my child whom I love and continues to run out into traffic. At the same time, I'm showing you disobedience and the result, the direct result of that, that and, and the opposite uh, result, right, standing right there. And, and if you listen, and if you listen real close, you'll almost hear, like, you'll almost hear some superior cadence over maybe the person that might have been put on a, a pedestal for years and... And you'll see it in the appearance. And and so you can wash the outside of that bowl. And, you know, again, thank the good Lord for, for, uh, for grace. That he is long-suffering and examines the heart and gives us all so many opportunities 
but to mock, to continue to mock even after you know, and you even, so now the, the, the mockers have become the mocked and their own mocking is literally being exposed through just becoming, um, the individual's humanity we were created in the image of that truth and so we're just how we're just clothing ourselves in that realization every day just getting one step closer to to the knowledge of who we're really becoming and i'm seeing it and everybody, it's like, wow, once you start to, and you hear it, just like you hear it in people's performance, you'll hear and you'll see it. You'll hear the progression and you'll hear the degradation, degradation, the, the, the biodegradation. You're going to hear, you're going to see the two stark contrasts, just like a Dr. Jekyll, just like two people I've seen in prison, two people look very similar act a lot alike in some ways, have a lot of the same mannerisms, but their character is completely, completely different. And so, you know, um, talk about eating crow out of a, out of a, uh, a pale green. We'll just, we'll just stick with pale green. Everything is all confirmation for all of those that are naysayers, like Thomas was, to say, wow, maybe there's something to this. Well, then maybe there's something to you. And so, here, let me go ahead and put this to your life and the plan our Heavenly Father has for each and every one of us, but collectively we're all part of the same body, becoming closer to that realization that, wow, we are created in, in, in the image of truth. Wow. And once you start to exercise truth, just completely just bare, raw, unadulterated truth and it's not about just laying yourself out there to have your to have your uh, that comes in in you know to have your 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 uh, 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 yourself shamed uh, or belittled uh, but once you get to that point man it and it really doesn't even it won't matter because you'll you'll realize that wow once you start to clothe yourself in in that righteousness, there nothing can stop you. Nothing nothing will scare you. No, you'll 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 kind of question a few things now and again because we're you know we're human. We're, you know this is a but that whole thing, man. That's really really, I, and 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 I'll just continue to emphasize it. We really are our heavenly father's children we are and don't think for a minute that if we were even a little bit closer to to his creation in in, in his entirety we would need women that's why we need women and again i'm not i'm not trying to browbeat anybody if the lord has has if you, you'll know if you're absent from a wife and, you're, and your heart is singing with joy, that's because he is the groom and you are truly becoming that bride, which we're all going to become anyway. It's just that there's a, I, I'm, I'm emphasizing this because we're in a, a time now where things are, it's time to unify when you're led to go, go running out looking you'll become that you'll hear it just like Tori said you'll hear it and you'll see it 
you'll see it. The Lord will start doing some miraculous things like he is already in your life and through your life and around your life. And it might seem like everything's falling down around you, man, but, and it's, and it's not going to, it's not necessarily going to be easy. And then again, it might, for some of us, it might just be real easy, but then again, it, it might not because, you know, the Lord is, he's got things for us to do. And in that list of things that I'm sure he has for us to do, the free will would dictate that love will allow us to make decisions that may not be the best for ourselves, but love would, would have it that the joy is in the journey and, and forgiveness is, uh, is, uh, is something that we personally can't ultimately do. We've, we cannot pay, uh, uh, for a debt that uh, we don't owe when it comes to salvation. And that's exactly what our, what our Lord has done. He had come and died for a debt he never owed so we could have everlasting life. We could become that life for a price we could never pay. That is why grace is so important and it wouldn't it wouldn't abound without faith it really wouldn't of course you know mercy you got to have mercy in that but we also show mercy to one another and you know it's not an excuse to 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 sin and and like i said if the Lord is leading you, you unify with your counterpart. It's not a count, it's not a counter balance like, like in a, well, it could be, I guess it could be like in a ship. Just depends. But the negative side, that's all getting thrown up on there and all the, everything's getting balanced out. In that sense, the, the heap of dung is going over there. And all those tears and suffering and everything that a lot of people just, they don't, they don't understand why it may seem to keep happening, but all that's going to be restored. And it's going to be restored in a way that you will absolutely, well, you're already starting to get a taste of it. That's the, that's the thing. Or I would I would have gave it up a long time. I'm not I'm not gonna lie to you because I that's thou shalt not lie. I'm not gonna do that. I would have thrown in the towel a long time. And the Lord says no. So there's, like I said, if He was to hit me with even some the stuff that I've realized within the last week, five years ago, I wouldn't even have been able to fathom just a week of stuff that I just. I don't, it's not that I take it for granted. It's just that I, I just stop keeping track because that's all I would be doing is keeping track to try to, in, try to convince myself of something I already know to be true, plum true. And we are created in our heavenly Yahweh's image because we are direct descendants we are Israel. We are the new Israel. Now, I don't know that pl that that actual geographic place. There might be some significance there also. I don't know. I just know that we are the church. The Lord wants, he made that real clear to me all on my own. And when I said that to somebody, they said, you have got to be out of your mind. And it was somebody that was, he was, he was, prominent up up there but he even he even him and his and he said he knew that too he knew that and, and i and i and he let me know that that he knew that and he didn't he didn't like the fact that i that i seen but still i was fighting that that whole that whole little that same thing that caused her to sit up there with that lunch pail open and all that green all of it, all of it, restored to her original dominion. See, he, he created all of it. Green, it shall be. <laughs> so, 
So yeah, no, he he knew, he, he knew, and I, I and I I didn't even want to ask the guy, but the Lord had me, said no you, and then he was laying out that he changed. He started laying out there waiting for me like a like a little like a a demonic little little troll. But I, I, uh, and then it was his, it was his response to my response to an intuition I had. And I didn't, I didn't even know at the time where it came from. And, um, uh, yeah, it's just, yeah, if you're if you're led to do something or say something and make sure you do it. Just do it with respect and you know, and kindness. You know, sometimes you're gonna you're gonna be accused of yelling even when you're even when you're just walking. That's gonna happen. That's gonna happen. It happens to the best of us. But you just do the best you can to state your case and step if you need to kick the dust and step. So anyway, I just wanted to say that about old, about that, those songs and, and, um, um, you know, there's a lot of significance and a lot of them looking back, it's, and they sit there and, and, and yeah, you can see it. So anyway, uh, back to, and I will brush over. So I'm in Maine, in Maine, me and, me and, uh, Tawana, we, we get married to keep ourselves from being in the snow and Being in the snow, which is quite a sight there in Maine, I was fascinated on how those uh, how those plows were able to navigate some of those uh, cobblestone roads that had. Well, now I know why the asphalt was all tore up, and you could see the the road is those those. Uh, those plows would just tear the tear the streets up. But yeah, the snow was just incredible. So we, we ended up getting married, moving into uh, uh, the pastors, um, one of the pastors, the property of the the church there. That was it. That was one of the only ways that he would, Pastor Abraham would, would allow us to uh, to move in there because we were, you know. We were uh, not married, which is understandable. Looking back now, although I wasn't still not in love with her. Um, so things took a turn. I'm just like I said, I'm going to expedite right on through this. Things took a turn, of course, for the not so good I started drinking a bunch of wild Irish rose. Um, going down to Boston. Looking up old Richie from Boston. Just kidding. I'd go down to Boston, get some Coke. Because I couldn't find, I couldn't find any. They was probably there. Like I said, I just couldn't find any. For those of you that go back and, and decide to watch the whole three three or four hours, four and a half hours that it's going to take three hours to upload. That's why I decided just to do this. It would, I would have been able to get uh, two of these done by the time my slow computer downloaded yesterday's videos and then now upload them to YouTube. But it was the effort. I wanted to show that even doing all that 
we do, uh, I still had time for y'all. So that's really why. Well, anyway, so things didn't go so, so well. I was um, running amok um, in the sense of just drinking. Um, Christmas time was rolling around. And uh, Tawana decided to go back to Washington and was trying to get Donnie to go with her. He wasn't, uh, he wasn't having that. He was going to stay with his, his derelict dad. And uh, so she ended up taking back uh, all the presents, enough to get a bus ticket back for her and Cecilia back to, to Washington to her mother's house. And um, so Donnie and I went to the Salvation Army Um. Ended up getting a ticket because I was in between um, paychecks. I was in between uh, my my disability because I had gotten a, a direct deposit. I just transferred there, got a main ID. I'm pretty certain that they had already, there was a warrant, which really blows me away why the next few uh, chapters I didn't get didn't get nipped but um, so we get a we get a couple of bus tickets and I walk away from from everything you know I like I said by the grace of the good Lord um, uh, I was able to always was, you know, just uh, effective enough and, and didn't just sit on my tail feathers. And I was always blessed enough to get, get you know, furnished wherever I was at pretty fast. And so, but I would just, and then I would just leave this stuff. So that was, you know, that was the other downfall as I, easy come, easy go was my, my, uh, my deal, which, you know, not always a good, so we head down to, to, uh, we go to Vermont. I end up calling he ahead of time to a shelter and I don't know why I chose Vermont, but very Vermont it was. And, uh, so very Vermont get off the bus. The, the lady that runs the shelter uh, said that when you get off the bus, it's going to be about one thirty, which because I had to you know, had to communicate with her and and uh, you know she found out what time the bus was supposed to be there and had uh, called the the law to give us a ride. I, apparently, people have used the the Mount Pillar police to to get rides when need be up to the shelter in, in Barrie. So the snow, pardon me, is coming down sideways. And it's, it's pretty cold. Beautiful, but we could hardly see anything. And we get off, I only had one duffel bag. And we go to the police station, which she told me a, a about where it was from there and the, it was real not very far from the from the Greyhound which was closed it was just like an old gas station just like many Greyhounds old Greyhounds are converted gas stations they only open when they're, they need to be never when you want them to be right so I go in there's a lady at the front desk behind glass I tell her that I'm why I'm there, then I'm been asked to go there to get a ride to uh, to bear up to Barry to the to the shelter for my son and I. She said, "Well, I need your ID." So I hand her my ID, and I'm starting to stress. I'm thinking, ID for what? It's not like I have warrants and I'm running from anything. And this, I stole this this kid, child, kid. It's such a habit. It's like saying up or down. 
just a habit. So, I mean, when it comes to certain directions anyway. So I hand her my ID. She has me sit down. I'm stressed out pretty well. Stressed out. <sighs> Pardon me. So, she hands me my ID. She slides it back underneath the thing. Hands me my ID. I sit sit down. She says, the officer will be out shortly. And I'm thinking, yeah, I'm sure he will. He's going to be out shortly. And I'm going to be in there soon thereafter. He's out here shortly. And my son, in a few days, if he don't get wrapped up in CPS, will get sent to Tawana, the stepmother, or something like that. About 10 minutes later, this officer steps out and says, you ready? And I'm like, and I knew just by the way he said it, I was like, yep, everything was fine. I was like, yep. So we got up, went out in his little sally, sally port, and beautiful drive up to Barry, Vermont. But just a beautiful, the river was flowing so ever so gently and i was really surprised uh, j to see that thing freeze i didn't know water that moved that fast but gently there was a one little white cap spot would freeze but it it did and the the snow had stopped while we were in the inside and it was just beautiful the the moon was full moon and it was um just shimmering off the water. It was, it was beautiful. And it was just like a, uh, like a Christmas, like a, a, a picture, a postcard, a perfect picture. It was, and the, the officer, he was the cop, he was making some small talk and stuff. And I didn't want to say too much. Um, but we got to Barry and it was still a little dark. It was still dark. Well, actually, it was dark for a little while. He goes, "Well, here's here's this this the deal the your the shelter, which was just a house in a in a neighborhood." Um, and of course, there was I noticed right off the bat there was like turkey and ham and stuff all on the on the porch. I found out later that's because there's you need you know when you got your freezer full of stuff, you you might as well just keep it outside when it's that cold. No sense in, in not, especially with all those mouths to feed. So I knock on the door. My son and I go in, and right off the bat, I can tell this is not a shelter for children. There's guys and, and girls. They're, they're, you know, nothing nothing real weird going on right out, you know, out new. But it's just you could just tell it wasn't. She was right when it, when she said it wasn't designed for for families. So we weren't there for very long. I got a motel and uh, this uh, Middle Eastern family, real nice. Uh, and we were like one of the only people in the place. And I was just completely blown away how the ice could be like that. And I had the heat going constantly, man. And the ice and and I had gotten my son into school the first day. I got him right off the bat. I, I got him into school. And, uh, you know, he liked those Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So I bought a bunch of those Yu-Gi-Oh cards. He ended up selling them quite a few years ago. No, he actually sold them when we, when we ended up back in Maine a year or so later. And uh, he, he we were just talking about that the other day. And he's like, Dad, if I would have had those things. And I said, what do you mean? He goes, well, those packs you were buying? He goes, I was getting real fortunate. He goes, because all those packs that you were buying, he goes, they had a couple of sometimes a, a, a holograph. I said, yeah. And he goes, well, those, you only get those once in a while. He goes, man, he goes, I had a whole folder of those. I said, really? He goes, yeah, man, if I would have kept those, Dad. He goes, <laughs> we'd have been getting that truck registered right now. And 
because like I said, I got a bunch of iron irons in the fire with this tort claim, just a bunch of stuff because the, you know, the, the Corona is trying to throw us for a little curve. So I, uh, I got to just navigate this stuff and get this, this, uh, this, this, uh, ministry on the road, which, you know, home is where the heart is. And, uh, so, I mean, you got love, oh boy, it just grows and it just expands and where you go and, oh, there's healing and from heartache and peace and joy and happiness and forgiveness. But don't burn with desire. If, if you're going to marry, just get married, marry yourself. Marry yourself. Ask the Lord to ordain and sanctify, and you marry yourself if you got to, so you don't burn what's desired, so you don't get. And then it says, you know, the, uh, the only way to offer a certificate of divorce is infidelity. And you defile the marriage bed because you, him and each one of y'all's future husband or wife. So just be careful. Be very cautious, and you don't want to toy with forgiveness because I'm. Just it just I'm just passing mail because you never know, you never know when he just decides. You know what? I've just had enough. It's time now, and that's it. That's why. That's why it says. That's that's why he's he's very clear about this. People is one of all these of all the sins. Very clear about this. Very clear, and that's why that relationship is so intimate and he created us in his image so that we could experience that and not defile it. It's important. That's going to be something that us saints and, 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 uh, the, uh, well, that's something for everybody, the just and the unjust alike. You have free will. You just, you know, you, and then don't beat yourself up over it. That's the other thing. Don't play that little guilt crap because that's that, Remorse leads to repentance, repentance life. But guilt, once it's, that's an ultimate thing. If you're not right, then you're going to get guilt. You're going to be found guilty and you're going to pay. But that guilt, if you're feeling guilty about stuff, even a, even stuff that happened, adultery, anything like that, that you've given it, and you're not back just like a dog re returning to your vomit, don't let the devil play that little game with you. Once it's done, it's done and over with. Don't ever, ever let the enemy that's what the enemy does he's an accuser of the brethren and not just brethren that was that's that's a misprint really in some senses it's he's, he's of humanity because before we started all this stuff believe me he created he created woman woo man from man because it wasn't good the man be alone for a good for good reason he just got us a little bit closer to his entirety i'm telling you people he created us in his image because we are his children. We're closer than, and they were never gonna. That's what got the. That's what got the dragon in trouble. Lucifer, Satan, and a bunch of other names that you can. The fact of the matter is, there's. He's always going to be the head, but we're going to be the body, and we have our counterparts and our counterbalance. However, you want it's. That's not it. When he seen it was good, that's not. That didn't, once that got defiled, that still didn't change anything. Childbearing, that's what it changed in blood, sweat, and tears. So, and through all that, we take on suffering. And through the, the flesh, the fighting of the desires of the flesh, you can have your cake and eat it too. There's just a few rules, but people, they, they don't, uh-uh. They want it. What they want is to come to the the desires of their flesh, and there's rules. And if you look around, look at the consequences of it. Look at old little Annie. Look at Nancy. Look at Ann. Just look, look, look at the tears. Those tears ain't fake. Those ain't fake. Those are real tears. That's right. As you're opening that up, and you're sitting there at school, and you're thinking about what he said to you. Hmm? People die for lack of knowledge. And see, once you know and you continue to mock, now, now you're showing all the nice people that are becoming closer to the thing, the very thing they were created to be, the image of, of, of Yahweh. They're seeing all of it. You are entertaining us now. 
you're entertaining us and you're mocking yourself you're entertaining us and counting do you see how this is working walking do you see what's going on all the people that fight that they're getting they're getting bit on it's going to be a groundhog day in a in a in in a in a way that you're not going to like and it's already starting it's already starting well i had no idea well look Look at it all. Look at the cut. You can't make that up. Look at the dates on everything. Welcome to eternity. That's right. You want to you want to talk about reality? Oh, they want you to all this into the CGI and all this AI and all that. Uh uh. Just wants to manipulate his reflection in us in our conduct. And it says he confirms it twice, people. Here's what sustains the holy ones. We already went over the 144,000. We already know who those are. They're numbered. We already know they didn't defile themselves. They were martyred. It tells us already. It also tells us, it gives us an answer of the unnumbered and why that is such. For the same reason why we're becoming, or not, eternity's return. Do you get it? Redemption is standing right next to us, or not. And so the Lord says, all right. Okay. All right. Just three or four more generations, man. Can I get disappointed? Yes. Am I ever going to go back by allowing something like that to hurt me in that sense? No. Nope. Because I know the truth and it's made me free. Yep. It's made me free. Free from what you ask? I'm glad you ask. Death. Because the wages of sin is if you go on willfully once you've tasted it, once you've seen it, you've all seen, you're starting to, you're all seeing, you're seeing it. You are seeing what's always been. You're just becoming closer to the very thing that always was and will be. You are becoming eternity. We're going to live together forever, all of us. All these names and stuff. And again, I'm not browbeating anybody. Hiding behind. And I'm not saying everybody's hiding. But don't let fear and common sense. And I'm talking about, you know who I'm talking about. I'm not talking about my beloveds. Keep you from standing out on faith. Just taste. It might be bitter at first. Just taste and see. You come over, you look, you know, you dip your toe in, you check it out. Go ahead and look. Do you want to be like that? And then watch. A few more years down the road, serenading Satan. As you see the devil just whisper. You know, E.T.'s ear, phone home, and it's sitting right next to it, serenading Satan, and look. Like a, like a big old walrus. Just the disobedience just reeks of, of, of just larceny. Just adultery in, in, in its most stenched, most realized sense. You could just, it stinks. And here's the thing. She's being made. She is she is reaping what she's sown and also feeding us the fruits of our labor. Isn't that something? Just like Tori said, just pop, throwing stuff up and catching it. Remember we used to do that with popcorn. And now they got a string in the shit on 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 thread 
up over a tree, a, a, a pine tree. I didn't know that either, man. I'm learning this stuff too. So that we could go through this together. See, there's no big eyes and little use for a reason. Pardon me. For a reason. We're all going through this together. We're different parts of the same body. Are y'all starting to pick up what's being laid down? The foundation of eternity we build. There's so many meanings. You can use it so many different ways. I couldn't sit and make all this up, but you guys already know this. You guys are starting to see it. You're hearing it, like Tori said. You, you can hear it. You see, people heard Millie's message different than what she may have perceived it herself. Are you guys starting to figure this out now? Once you step out in faith, are you starting to understand what's really going on? Who's in control? You are. You're in control. Well, you know, when you're in the spirit, you are literally being guided. You're just a harmonious instrument. Some vessels and conduits and vehicles, we all have different gifts, but together... And we know each other. We're starting to recognize each other. And all this, all the shh, they're shoveling to scare you. You're starting to see it's, it's been a lie from the beginning. It's all been a lie. If they could have, baby, they would have. They want you to delay the salvaging of souls by the inevitable, regardless of what your ultimate uh, decision is going to be. Because as you act and you step out on faith, people go, wow, did you say, man, maybe I can do that. That's why they didn't want this story to get out. Because so many people would have said, man, I don't know that dude, but I know that story. I have a story similar to that, and I'm going to tell it. Do you see of course, many people would have said the ones that, like I said, hadn't strung ropes, for the lack of a better term. So much death. They would have come out and they would have said, hey, man, I know that guy personally and I know that story. There's power, not only in prayer, but in your testimony, faith come by hearing. So is there clacking plates between their bottom and and top lip look i don't know how it's i'm 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 along for the ride too you see i learn stuff i'm learning to rely on the lord living through you people and i heard someone say to down the chat i won't put my trust in in people well you know what you better start learning to because you know something you just don't put your faith in them, but you tr you put your trust in them. If you put your faith in them, they're going to let you down. You'll know them by their fruits. And I'll tell you what, it's time to shake the tree. It's time to shake the tree, people. Be bold. Remember what he said to that fig tree that wouldn't, he said, uh-uh. Nope. No. Stand out on in faith. People are gonna see. People you won't believe. Well, you'll you're gonna you're well you won't believe them. You will. You're gonna see. See, that's the thing. We're gonna know and everything. You're already, it's already happening right now. See, you're already reaping the fruits. Uh, even of their dysfunction. Do you see poor Anne? Hmm? Somebody said, well, that's mental health. Well, guess what? Demonic stealth. Well, what about, what about, I don't have the answer to that. It's not my wheelhouse of expertise. I don't need to know that. She needs to know that. Well, that's just, that's the, that's the result of medication. Yeah, that's right. Pharmacia, sorcery. Think about it. Now, he says right in Genesis, seeds and seed-bearing plants. Well, what happens when you start to process cocaine? Hmm. 
Opium poppies? Even weed. What happens? When you start making that stuff your God, it's not money that's the root of all evil. It's the love of it. It's not the sex. Well, even it's the undulterated. It's without your without your spouse. Of course, that that nut will keep you feeling real guilty. And if not, then there's a spiritual deficit and you might want to examine your conduct. Because I will say this, once that time, once everybody comes to that that decision, and I don't know when that is, and counting. I do know this. I will tell you this much. That that had already elapsed. <laughs> Some might say, what? That's nowhere here in the... Well, it's already elapsed because of people like us. That's right. It's not about being arrogant. It's about being bold and understanding how powerful your prayers are and how unifying and intimate when you truly pour out your heart to the groom of creation, you start to be adorned that seamless cloth starts to just kind of snuggle with you and you know you know it's not good for us to be alone if you got if you're happy and content at heart it's the intent of that and that home is where the heart is and if you want to find a person's heart look for their treasure it's the intent of that heart people Casey said something that really made a lot of sense he said that you got to watch out for those people that send out a lot of hearts and, and I'm not saying that derogatory to people that do use a lot of hearts in these emojis or whatever they are but in some cases that's exactly what I'm saying there's just it's something ain't right it's like you hear people say God a lot. Well, what God are you referring to? Are you talking about God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? Is that who we're referring to? Of David? Uriah? What God are you referring to? A God or the God? And you hide behind a a blind. That's a blind. I used to use them. I don't use blinds anymore. Those fake blinds. No, when I when I, I when I make my ground blind, I use ferns, and I use the landscape. I'm not gonna walk. I'm not gonna walk and hide behind something artificial, a natural something that isn't of the forest. Bring as little as possible, in and definitely take out all of what I brought in, and a lot that I didn't. That's being puked up from Mother Earth. Always finding something. So, yeah. Um, so that... Just pay attention, people. You'll start seeing exactly what's being 
you're starting to see exactly what what's being said, done. They're telling you everything that you already had the privilege to know. You just didn't. You just didn't know. And that's exactly what Satan is working so hard to deceive you, beloved people. Spending so much money starving us while feeding itself dragon fuel. Just one of many, 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 many. But that in its own monstrosity of a deception is just, if it were possible, even the elect would be deceived. And if it weren't for the elect's sake, there'd be no flesh left alive. Why? Because the deception is so great. It's so great. It's no it's not a it's no not a coincidence that the Lord talks about the remnant. What? I say Okay, I'm making a video. Okay, I'm making a video. Hold on. All right, my daughter had to come grab my grandson because he wants to be in the limelight too, and I can't blame him. I just don't want him. I'll take pictures, but I don't want him uh, live on here as of now. So I'm trying to plead and beg with him, and he thinks it's funny because he knows he's got me over a barrel and like a monkey, uh, <laughs> a barrel of him. But, um, so, uh, yeah, uh, so you're seeing people, you're starting to see everything that always was. Well, after that, the fall, uh, but yeah, it's a privilege. I'm so absolutely just, I'm extremely just thrilled. Win, lose, or draw. I'm not. I am not, uh, I am not, uh, I'm not a sore loser, anything like that. Now, I will say, I do get a little jealous now and again, I'm not going to lie, you know, but I'm working that out. I, I, I'm, I, I believe it's, it's more of a, it's becoming a righteous jealous. I don't know if that makes, because there really is a most jealousy that I've experienced is just not good, but there are some good jealousies and I'm just, uh, I'm just not, um, equipped to explain them in a way that would help you or us right now. So I'm not going to, cause I know, cause I know better, you know, I'm learning, but yeah, so, so you're see you're seeing people beautiful. Um, and then one of these times I'll have him, I'll have him come, I'll have him come on. I'm not, I, I love that boy. And, um, so, um, so here I am, I'm in May, I'm in, um, I'm in, in the shelter in Vermont, very, very, very cold. I get Donnie in a, in school, we're in, in the motel. I ended up buying him a, a Beeman BB gun at the hardware store, the local hardware store. And long and short, if you guys want to 
just go right to the, cause I've spent a little extra time, a little more time than I had kind of planned on this. So I'm going to just brush right over and you guys can go back and, and do the one I'm going to upload on, on YouTube. But I didn't stay there too long. Um, got a little, little place, brought in a couple teenagers. One was from Florida, Tampa. So I decided to head down there. I thought, Hey, you know, of course, you know, if you go to the library, which I did and uh, why Donnie was in school and, and look up things about Florida. And, and I, something you, when you're looking stuff up, if, depending on where you go and look stuff up, it's almost like false advertisement. Everywhere I, I looked on information about Florida was everything that I th ever thought Florida would be. You know, of course, it's not what my brother had come back and, and, and told me after him and Tommy went down there to Sarasota long, long before this, which I'll, I'll brush over that a little bit. But it wasn't the, what it wasn't what I thought thought um when i finally got down there so the, all the pictures and info i was getting was really just solidifying the fact that this is where i need to go so i end up getting a bus ticket and making a few people not too happy in the process that i was leaving so soon um but I just couldn't do 65 below zero. I just wasn't into the 65 below zero. And I just want to say for all the Native Americans, all the beloved, I believe the Algonquins and all the Stakumsa and, and Lala Withicas, bro, all of them. Can you, can you imagine of all the amenities, at least I, I, I have a hard time imagining it. So I just, my Wow, what a blessed, my hat completely goes off to the Native Americans. Can you imagine <laughs> trying to survive in a wigwam, a, a teepee in 65 below zero, 65 below zero? Holy smokes, where there's smoke, there's fire. And there better be a fire in there, mama. Because when daddy gets home from hunting, he going to be cold. He gonna want to warm his hands up, girl. I couldn't help that. God, I miss you so much. Oh, Lord. And I'm not stressing. I, I believe I know what your message is gonna be. And if not, I'll get over it. <laughs> I really will, and I'll I'll be there more so. Then if not, if that, if your decision is something different, I, I, that's my solemn promise because I don't, I don't worry about a whole lot these days. I don't worry because I know my heavenly father, well, look, look what he's doing through us. Look what he's doing. Look at all this stuff that's happened to me. Not one broken bone. Not one that I that I know of, and I'm not bragging. That's a that is a mirror. And you beloved people don't even know a smidgen of it. I because I've had to get floating. We've had to go get somewhere. We got somewhere to, to be. And this is it. I used to say, Well, this ain't it. You know, I'd tell people, you know, this is, you know, the Lord has a plan for us, you know, and this isn't it. When I was in Walla Walla doing what I needed to do on that. That very yard. Well, that's exactly where I needed to be at the time. At that second, that's where I needed to be. So does the devil try to whisper stuff in my head about that? Yes, he does. He does, but he does, he, he he only he can only he can only get me on certain lures now he's and, and and it's it's far and few between now far and few between i don't and then i don't go back and, and make really stupid i don't go i won't have like let's say uh, uh, uh panic like a lot of people they'll 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 panic 
uh, eat or sex or, you know, because they, their world's falling apart. Like I, I, I'll panic clean. I'll pan, I'll panic clean. If there's such a thing, I don't even do that much anymore, but that's what I used to do. If everything wasn't in order and had a function and form and conjunction junction. Oh yeah. I'm starting to, there's so many things, correlations that go on when she's talking, when Tori's talking, I'm like, Oh my gosh, I'm trying to, the Lord says, son, remember, just because, well, I, I just want them, they already know, son, they already know. So when it seems like I'm being cool, and calm, that's because that's what I'm doing. I just, that's what I'm doing. I'm just being calm, cool, and collected. Except right there, when he was trying to get on this camera, and I was begging him not to get too close. Please, Michael. Cecilia, please. And she just got out of the hospital. Thank you guys for your prayers. She's home. She's happy. She's been gone a whole week. A whole week. It didn't seem like a whole week. That means my that means my butter boy has been gone a week. Because he passed away right there. I said I wasn't going to bring him up right there the day that she went to the hospital. Gave up the ghost. It was actually, I really needed that, the way that all happened. So that the Lord, he confirmed some things. Some things I kind of he'd already been trying to confirm in me, but he's just like, oh, son, please put the pen and paper away, so to speak. That's just a because I know that's been happening. <laughs> and, and and then when they were both holding a pen, holding up a a a, a, a blank blank uh, board, I I kind of knew what was being said, but I just didn't want to say anything because I just just at that point the combination of the two names together was almost like axle grease that just ching, 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 ching. And, and that's, and he knew what he was doing. It was just, ugh. it was that Turkish symbol was just a hammer in a way, just hammer in a way. And some of the better ones are ham, hand hammered. You know that, right? Those are the ones I look for. Those are worth some money. Those symbols are, whew. you just can't, you can't replace that. You can't uh, reproduce that. The good old, and there's, and there's, just like those Balm, Frank Balm books, those first edition, those real good ones, there's, you, there's same with those, uh, those uh, old, those uh, Zildjian um, uh, symbols. I think Sabian, I think they were brothers. But those old Turkish symbols, some of them older ones, boy, whew, man, they just, well, all the older ones, they just have a sound. But anyway. So I'm getting off track. Um, so we we take off. We I leave the two young younger ones in the two bedroom that I had. It was a. You'll have to go back and and watch. Like I said, there's four and a half hours. I'm gonna have my son download it here in a minute. As soon as I get done um, doing this, because my grandson is really chomping at the bit and. Um, so I don't want to, and now the house is alive and, you know, it's got, it's, it's, it's pretty, you know, there's a lot going on, but, uh, yeah, um, can you hear me, can you hear me running? Can you hear me running? Can you hear me calling you? Can you hear me? Can you hear me running? Can you hear me running? Can you hear me calling you? Yeah. I'll get, I'll deal with it. I'll do, I'm going to deal with this either way, no matter what I'm going to, I'll deal with it. And I might not have all the right answers for you when you may want them, but I believe now, you know, that you'll be fine either way, either way. You'll be fine. You'll be you'll be better than fine. God, I'm so proud of you. I just want to break down. 
Because just like John Hall, can you imagine all the stuff he sees? You know, when he said the Q-tip thing, you know, I, I literally broke down because I almost knew what he was saying. And these children, these poor children, don't think one second of unnecessary suffering would be going on if it wasn't for us. Reversing the hands of plum, true, final, white throne judgment. Because there is a difference being made through our cries. As we bow and pour out our hearts, unifying together, our Heavenly Father has not been serenaded like this ever, ever, people. Don't you know? Don't you know? Remember what they sung in that home? Don't you know that your baby boy would somehow rule the world? Don't you know? That rule is within us. That rule is that three fold cord suspending true, holding true, embracing true, becoming true, plumb true. I don't even have to know math to understand square and what plumb true is. Even those cavemen, even them, even they know that. Even they have enough, I'm sure, to look around and say, wait a minute. Hmm, this fire, this, and I'm still sticking to it. Nobody, I mean, a Komodo dragon after 800 years, even 600, man, that'd be a big pair of boots. That'd be a be a big coach bag, sweetheart. Man, we could really we'd be in the the reptile business, all right. You have to get a bigger boat, all right, John. <laughs> We're gonna have to get a bigger boat, Miss Hall, Mrs. Hall. Oh, yeah, we're gonna have to get a bigger boat. We're gonna have to get a bigger sword. Uh, we already got one. Old Goliath. Man, can you imagine? Just, whoosh, just right off. Trying to separate the head from the body, it is. Mm-hmm. Well, guess what? Lucy, we're home. We're home, Lucy. You have some splaining to do. And see? Dog in the butterfly. In the air they like to fly. Dog in the butterfly. You know she had to try. When she walked on down to the warm soft ground and laughing. She had to try Dog and butterfly The world's getting cold Heart rolling in Yeah 
Those are tears. Those are for real tears. Oceans upon the sky. Hmm. That's right. That's right, people. So, um, heading down to to uh, Tampa, Florida. Oh, Florida. JJ in Florida. Eyes like an eagle and face like a... Head on down to Florida. Start seeing all the, the trees. and Wow. That's amazing. You know what? No, but we know where, when, and why. Some might say, wait a minute. It says... Well, it's coming through us. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's right. I'm going to let you go. Because I've got... Uh, I'm about ready to get started in the Florida gig. And I want to get this downloaded. I want to get this downloaded. And then I will brush over a little bit. Catch up to speed. And then try to be a little more thorough. But not too overly. Because then that gets me. Because there's so much people. That's the only reason. And when I'm doing this just completely off the top of my head, I'm not bragging, but it is, it has to be divinely inspired or it wouldn't be happening. It really just, because I'm, I, you got to remember, not just am I reciting the truth and the past, but the present and the future are all becoming, um, revelation is becoming us. It's so beautiful. God, I can't wait, though. And I'm not trying to paint anybody into a corner, but, man, I can't wait. I'm so absent without her. I really am. Just like he said, and that's not the only reason that I, I need her. But it's one of the reasons. So that I can do some long overdue just breaking down of course that won't happen right away but I'm not trying to scare anybody off no matter what that decision would be you bring her with you sweetheart you do what you gotta do you can bring a detector with you you can wand me before you I don't care I just I just want to see you and Sooner or later, that's going to happen. But I just want you, I want to hold, hug you. That's holding. That's what I meant by holding. That's really what I honestly meant. Now, if something else was to become of it, even back then, that would have been great. And I, and I really know what that would have entailed. I know. And things change, but I just, I already know. I know. I already know. <laughs> I know as well as I'm sitting here, I know. And I would have been saying, I just don't get where all this is coming from. <laughs> oh, sweetheart. So I'm going to let you go. And for now, till next time. And then I'm going to have him download this. But I love you guys. And no pressure. None. Don't trip. Bacon strip. And I mean that in a good way. It's bacon. That's how I knew he was. He wouldn't even eat no. He wanted to be right by daddy. So by daddy, he he got to be. And I was right there with him. I feel you. I feel you. I feel us all. The heartbeat, oh, one. This stuff really is real. This is real, people. 
This is exactly what they don't want you to know about. What they can't stop. Truth. The freedom of that they're in. That freedom of realizing who you really are becoming. And what authority you truly have through the anointing and sanctification of our heavenly creator. You in his image, us together. Oh, at the banquet feast once a week. And back to our lives, glorifying, stalling. I have to look up what that is, a stole to, a, to glorify. I'm learning as I go. It's so that just like that video, you see him. It's slapping it as it's loving you. Love will find a way. And you see, you see the Holy Spirit. And then as the Holy Spirit is is being glorified in the company of other of its glory. It sees humanity filming it and it and it it smiles and it goes through a transition and then you can see it. You see it. You've seen it a long time ago. The Lord says, see they see that too. Not every not all of them see it. They are they're starting to It's real, people. And I'm not talking it. I'm talking reality is real. It is the lie. It is the fear. And I, there's good, healthy fear. Don't get me wrong. And you'll see it. You'll see the direct result of its consequence and not seeking truth. You'll see it. You'll see it. If you want to find a person's heart, look for their treasure. Look and then look at them. Look. You'll see. You'll see your redemption draw nigh. Just look. I gotta go. I, I can do this with you people. Because I love you for eternity. And that's, guess what? That's right. Mm -hmm. Are you happy now? Hmm? Just be careful, Charlie. You know what happened to the person that got what they ever wanted. They lived happily ever, forever, after. Forever. Forever. Faithfully. Forever. I fought so So hard for her. So hard. And I'm okay with who she is. I'm okay. I'm thankful for what I have and what I receive. I'm okay with that. I'm all right. I'm okay with whom I'm becoming. As we draw nigh, the enemy is showing you and counting. I love you guys. I gotta go.
peace.